In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my top favorite websites for royalty stock free images. There's nothing more frustrating than not having all the right images you need to get started on a project. So hopefully this video helps you a lot. Subscribe, like, comment below, and as always, check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. Maybe they might help you on your projects. Let's get started. So the first website we're going to look at, it's called unsplash.com and these are my top 10 favorite websites for free royalty stock images. Uh, comment below if you may find one in this list that, uh, that you did not see or found interesting. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is Unsplash. What I like about this website is that you can click and you'll see that it has different categories up here on top. Uh, for example, editorial, architecture, current events, experimental, fashion, and so forth. So if you're looking for an actual uh, tab that may help you in certain things you're looking for, it's already preset here, which is pretty helpful. Um, you can also scroll down and you'll see that it has already images loaded here um, that are for inspiration or something you may find helpful that if you um, want to use for your website or for your artwork in general, you can go ahead and use any of these images. These are all royalty free stock photos, but let's go ahead and try to find one on our own. So if you're trying to find one on your own, all you have to do is just um, search it. Let's type in ocean. And if I type in ocean, I'll get a whole bunch of variety of images. And I just want to show you one image, or any one of these images. And let's click on this one right here. Once I click on this image, you'll see the artist up here, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also see other of that artist's photos, which are right below. And what I like about this feature on Unsplash is that you can hit this drop down menu here, download free, and it'll have a different sizes like small, medium, or original size. So this is quite large. I would generally stick with medium sizes, 1920 by whatever it may be. So you can download any of these sizes. Once you hit medium, this is what happens. It gives you, a, it starts downloading right here, and then it says say thanks to the artist if you wanna donate to them. That's pretty cool. Um, you can also do that as well. So this will download right here, and we'll get back to that later. But uh, that is how you use Unsplash, where any one of these photos will give you options to download different sizes, which I find is pretty cool. And this is probably one of my top favorite websites to use for free images. I use this quite a bit, actually. So the next um, photo um, website that I want to show you is called StockSnap.com. Same idea here is that you can go ahead and uh, find your own website, sorry, your own photos. You can also click on the trending tab, which is pretty cool. And they also have here popular by nature, people, wallpapers, and so forth. And you can also see that right below, there are already some images already loaded here for you to look at. Um, that if you may find inspirational, go ahead and use these because these are all, like I had mentioned, uh, free of use. So same thing would happen if I was to go on this website, stocks, stocksnap.com, type in ocean. And the same thing should show up here, that you get a variety of different images. Let's click on this one up here. And this one, you will see that you can download this photo, and it says right here, free download. And this is the size, this is how many people looked at it and so many people put this in their favorite and this is the file size so that's pretty cool i'm not going to download this but this is an idea of how you can find these images as well to download if you find this website helpful go ahead and check it out stocksnap.com the next website is pexels.com this is the number third website out of the 10. similar to unsplash it's almost the same template if i could recall it has the same kind of tabs here discover video challenges and what's really cool about majority of these websites is that you can also get free video clips now yes they will take up a lot of size um, but because it is a video uh, but anyways let's click on and let's see if we can click on any one of these images how about we search for one these are all the free images so you can search for any one you can also try it here ocean should get a variety of different photos and now what's cool about this website is that it has different themes according with your subject that you type in 
So like sunset, water, sky, nature, sea, underwater, and so forth. Like if I typed in typography, I'd pr probably get a um, different variety of design elements related to typography. Uh, probably like color theory or layout and so forth. So ocean right here, this is uh, the results once you type in your subject matter and this is what popped up. Let's go ahead and click on one of this one. How about right here? So same thing as on Splash, you'll see that you can hit this drop down menu give you all these different sizes, which is really cool because these are all um, free images you can donate to the artist, photographer. Um, definitely take advantage of these free images and donate to the artist. Um, and you have so many big sizes to choose from, so it's pretty cool. But let's take a look at this website and check out, let's go back to their homepage and see the videos feature right here. So this will be video clips. So now if I was to scroll down, I can highlight or just roll over the image. This is the video clip. So you can also download any of these clips by this drop down menu here. And this will be a free video clip as well that you can use for your content. So that's pretty helpful. Um, you can also click on this drop down menu right here to get the different sizes, uh, whatever you do for your website or for YouTube or um, for your own films or whatever it is that you're trying to do. But this right here is a rendering of what it looks like, so the preview things are, of the actual file itself, so that's pretty cool. So before even downloading it, you get to see the whole clip. And it looks like it's about roughly 24 seconds long. So yeah, so this is a great website to also download video clips for editing, uh, to add to your original video, which I think was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out this other tab here. This one is lifeofvids.com. Yeah, this one is also pretty cool. It has free videos, free clips, and loops. Um, they have images here, but this is also really cool for videos. So similar to the other website, uh, free stock uh, pixels. It's similar to pixels, but this is this website has more variety of different uh, video clips you can find. So this one has more options to choose from, which I like it quite a bit. So this is Life of Bids. The next one up here is burst.shopify.com. Also, guys, I'm going to go ahead and link all these websites in the uh, comment section below in the description. Actually, you can go ahead and check out any of these videos if you find them very helpful. So this one is burst.shopify.com. You can search for your photography, photos. You can also scroll down. You'll see they'll have different photos here based on the theme, based on the week, um, and then also based on the category, like yoga, nature, landscape, baby, food, dogs. I like this website quite a bit too because this one actually has a variety of different categories and it's already easy to navigate and see through what they look like because they have it all um, labeled here so I find them very very helpful let's check out water so similar to the other ones um, they have the categories here fish ocean ponds and you'll get the same exact results once you type in your own um, search category and then here you go you see all the images related to water and that's, that's pretty cool let's check out this one here Yeah, and then you can download the high resolution image here, download for free, create website with photo, uh, high resolution, low resolution. With this one, once you download it, then you'll find out what size the photo is, if I'm not mistaken. So this one, the only thing about this website is once you download it, then you'll find out what the resolution is of that image. Let's move on forward. This next one is freerangestock.com. This one's pretty cool, same idea here, you type in your search bar. <clears throat> the category for your search and it'll show a bunch of different uh, listings here business office um, it's pretty neat so and once again these are all you know relative free stock images if you're looking for something really really uh, precise that's really hard to find on any of these free websites which is kind of hard to believe then you may have to uh, pay for those stock images if you can't for some reason find the image you're looking for you can type in a model 
you're trying to do some cutout work and trying to put some models paste them in like a scene or something you can also get that um, so it, it is very limiting you know with this one but for free it's not that bad and once again you also have nine other websites to choose from when it comes to your images moving forward kaboompix.com I like this website in regards to its typography it's pretty creative and I like how this reminds me of kind of like Pinterest I don't know why but um, same idea here like Unsplash where it has like the artist a drop down menu you click on this it shows you the actual image size different photo shoots you can see more of these here and it's pretty neat I would say um, latest article yeah this is pretty cool articles so check that out similar to Unsplash this one is a classic uh, Flickr. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Flickr, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But um, this is one of the first website websites that supported free images online where people would just upload their images for anyone to use. So it's pretty cool. Start free. But I believe now there's also a feature where if you're trying to find um, other images, then you'll see ads like on iStock.com that you can download and pay for if you don't like the images on this website. But it does show a variety and a huge list of different different images that you can find on here. So this is pretty cool. It's one of the uh, the oldest websites that I remember that I would download images from from Flickr. This one is Wiki, wikimedia.org, similar to Wikipedia, but it's Wikimedia. A lot of people don't know about this. And this has usable collection. It says here a collection of 64 freely usable media files to which anyone can contribute you can contribute your files up to 64 thousands and thousands of images of files of sounds and videos to upload you can also download these as well you can scroll down here is media of the day this is a clip um, so this one is not I guess more the interface is not as friendly or as nice to look at but once again remember this platform is from wikimedia.org similar to wikipedia so it won't be aesthetically as pleasing but regardless the fact is that you will be able to find your images sound and videos on here with the amount of freely usable medias that they have on here so give it a go see if you like it let me know your thoughts on this one i'm definitely curious about uh your feedback for this one i would start from the first ones that i showed shared with you guys here the top five and work your way down if you're unable to, to find your images first for whatever reason. Pixabay is pretty popular too. I think this is as popular as a the other website which was Flickr. Um, same concept here, type in your images, um, whatever category you would like to search for and then below here is a resample set images for you to look at. So that's pretty helpful. You can go ahead and select any one of these images, discover and find them. It says right here, free images and videos you can use anywhere. So this is pretty cool. You can also sign up to get the most latest uh, images that are uploaded here often. I'm not sure how often though, if it's bi-weekly, monthly, or whatnot, but, but check it out. Give it a go, yeah? And then here, you can scroll down, click on this image right here, gives you the free download. How many people give us a thumbs up? have saved it and right down here you'll see the size the resolution size right here which is 4069 by 2008 that's the resolution this is a JPEG so you can download this if you like and here's a free download so that is it guys that is the top 10 free websites with royalty free stock images you can use for your work and not worried about any issues you can use these images, you can share them, you can upload them. There's also media files as well. There is video and also sound. So give it a look and let me know your thoughts below. If you haven't already, subscribe, comment below. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Uh, let's try to get this channel up to 1,000 subscribers. We really do appreciate the support and thanks again for watching. As always, take care. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got gotten this far, please subscribe down below, hit the like button and uh, click on that bell for more notifications to come. Stay tuned. Thanks.